Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another mod video for The Sims 4. Though this one is going to be a bit different because instead of just focusing on one mod, this is a compilation of some of my must have mods as of January 2019. And I do want to focus on a more mixed bag of mods you may have heard of and mods you may have not heard of because there's definitely some mods out there that I think are really good additions to our games but just aren't talked about a lot for some reason so I'm not really going to spend a lot of time talking about the UI cheats extension or MC command center because at this point I feel like those two mods are talked about to death you've probably heard all about how great they are so I will still link them in the video description below if you haven't already downloaded them but I do want to spend more time talking about other mods. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Also, yes, I am a sim now. Please help me. So first up is the Automatic Sunburns mod, created by Flurb. While there was some controversy about the lack of really deep snow in the Seasons expansion, another pretty notable thing that's missing is sunburns. So here comes Flurb to the rescue, though funny enough, this mod actually came out a few months before Seasons was even announced. I'm really surprised this mod isn't brought up more often, because it is pretty in-depth. It works just as you would expect it to, with your Sims slowly getting more burnt, the longer they're out in the sun, and how fast they burn can change depending on the weather, time of day, how much clothing they're wearing, and whether or not they're wearing sunscreen. If you want your sim to get a tan, it's definitely best to go out around noon on a sunny day, but what really makes this mod go above and beyond in my opinion is that it's not just about sunburns, there's more. There's some other optional add-ons that go along with it. One of them is a vitamin D game mechanic. If your sims don't go outside and get some sun often enough, they will develop a vitamin D deficiency. If you still don't have your sims get some sunlight, they can eventually die from exhaustion. Another add-on is for skin cancer. The more times your sim gets sunburned, the higher the chances that they get skin cancer, and the chances increase with age as well. This can also result in death eventually. Spots appear on your sim's skin to indicate that they have skin cancer. There's also an optional reward trait that make your sims immune to sunburns, and one last add-on lets you place these little squares that allow sunlight to shine on them. For example, if you want to use them inside of glass roofs or on pools. Flurb also plans on adding more features like tanning beds, a tanning skill, and towels for sims to lay on, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And even if Maxis still adds a sunburn feature in the future alongside a tropical beach pack or something like that, I don't think it'll be as in-depth as this mod. The one thing that I can imagine an official EA sunburn feature doing better is the animation because when your sims put on sunscreen or drink the aloe vera juice to help them get over the sunburn faster they just drink it out of a bottle <laughs> it's a little bizarre but still a pretty minor complaint in what's otherwise a pretty amazing mod there's also another add-on that you need to download if you plan on using this with the next mod that i'm about to talk about which is the Slice of Life mod by Kawaii Stacy. She makes so many great mods, but this one's my favorite. It adds a lot more realism to our sims, mainly through changes in their appearance. For example, your sims blush when they're flirty, get bruised eyes after losing a fight, teary eyes when they're sad, and they can get a very red face when they need to puke. But your sims can also be drunk, get acne, and children can even lose teeth. But there's also new phone menus with a whole bunch of options, which to be honest, I keep forgetting about. Just to record this video, I did record some footage going through that stuff, and you can text other sims, and I haven't tried the mean ones yet, but the friendly and flirty ones 
boost positive reputation by a crazy amount if you had get famous. It's a bit OP, but there's also apps to help build certain skills. There's even a mall tycoon one that's supposed to help build the hidden retail skills from get to work. Oh, and one other thing, if you have this mod installed, don't let your sims get their bladder motive too low too often, otherwise they risk getting an uncomfortable bladder infection. Really, yes, that is a thing and it's happened to me multiple times now. Overall, I think this mod is fantastic and definitely a must have and I don't know, just go ahead and try it out for yourself. You might have some funny experiences. I'm just gonna share a reaction that happened during my Get Famous Let's Play back when I first started playing with it. Let's introduce ourselves to- Whoa, what the hell happened to Janessa's face? Oh my god! Uh, I'm sure this is from the Slice of Life mod as well. Tired, red eyes. Oh, okay, that's from the Slice of Life mod as well. So the next mod on this list is a career mod. There's so many career mods out there and I decided, well, I definitely need to put one on here. So I went with my favorite one overall and it's the Airline Employee Career by Similar. And it has a whopping six branches. You can see them on the screen right there. So there's quite a lot of replay value with this one. It is a rabbit hole career, just like a lot of the careers are in the game right now. But what's also really cool about this career is that Similar actually has worked for a major Canadian airline for over a decade. So this person has actual experience with the job that they've created. Even though there are some creative liberties taken, there are a lot of jobs where it's like, oh yeah, it's just like a job title that you would have in the airline industry. Other than that, I don't think there's really much else to say because it is a rabbit hole career, so there isn't really too much to explain about it, but yep, there's just more options for your Sims job-wise, which I think The Sims 4 definitely needs, and it is a career that I can imagine being in the game as well, and just the fact that there's six different branches, yeah, there's just so many different ways that you can go, and stories that you can tell even though your sims still vanish to go to the workplace. But yeah, it can really help add more to the backstories of your sims. And like the Sunburn mod, I'm surprised this career isn't talked about more often because I do think this one really deserves more recognition. Next, we have the fan art maps by Dare Cheyenne and Noir Sims. These replace the default EA maps with these gorgeous detailed ones that represent what you actually see in-game a bit more accurately. While they don't change actual gameplay at all, I still consider these a must-have because I think presentation value in video games should count for something even though they obviously aren't the most important part. And just looking at these amazing maps gives me more energy to jump into live mode and play. At the time of making this video, nearly every world map has been redone. The only one left is Selva Dorada from the Jungle Adventure game pack. I always get so excited whenever a new map is released and I hope we get to see what Selva Dorada looks like in this art style. So for this next one I'm gonna cheat a little bit because this is a combination of a few different mods that are all related to my favorite expansion pack for The Sims 4 so far, Seasons. This was a very difficult decision because I really wanted to show off something from Lil Miss Sam because she's made so many great mods, but I wasn't sure which ones. <laughs> and I thought, well, why not go with a couple of mods that make my favorite expansion pack even better? So, yep, it came down to those. And then also I rolled in Ice Mon Mon because she made some traditions that covered different areas than the ones that Little Miss Sam did, so that's why I'm putting all of these into one. As much as I love Seasons, I feel like they really didn't do enough with the traditions and the holiday icons that we were given. So these mods, I think, really help solve that problem. You can even see on screen right now, there's ones like Watch Movies and Void Critters and puppet shows and pet related ones. There's a custom holiday that I have in my game now called Pet Appreciation Day that would 
not be possible without mods, and I'm pretty grateful for that, and it just adds so much more variety to the game. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Private Practice mod by SimRealist. While there are still more updates to come in the future, this mod is already one of the coolest gameplay mods I've seen. It gives the health system more depth. Sims will now feel the need to go for a checkup every once in a while, which involves them disappearing off their lot for about an hour or so, and then when they come back, you're given a pop-up that tells you their weight, blood pressure, and the recommended time until their next checkup. You'll need to watch your sim's health more often in aspects like their fitness, because if they're overweight for example, they get tired quicker than normal and may have a shorter lifespan. Another example is sims with low blood pressure being prone to dizziness and should drink more water. In addition, a new rabbit hole career was also added, where your sim is a health sciences student, which then branches off into medical resident and veterinary resident. So overall, I definitely think this mod is a must-have, especially if you want more realistic gameplay and you do think that the health system is pretty lacking even with Get to Work installed. And there you go, those are some of my must-have mods for The Sims 4 that I think just make the game an overall much better experience. I'm pretty sure I'll need to do another one of these in the next few months or so because while I really did go over some great ones here, I think I've just scratched the surface. There's a lot more great mods out there by a whole assortment of different creators. And I mean, why not, right? I'm sure there'll be even more great mods that aren't even out yet at the time of making this video. And yes, just with The Sims in general, I think the community just makes the game so much better with mods. And yeah, we'll see what happens in the future. And by the way, I have done reviews on all of the mods featured in this video, well, except for Slice of Life. I've showed it off just through my Let's Plays, but yeah, with all the other mods, I do have individual reviews for each, and well, with the <laughs> map replacement mods, I've done multiple installments of them. So I will have links to all of those in the video description below, in addition to the download links for the mods themselves. And there we go, that's pretty much it. So be sure to leave a like or comment or even subscribe because it lets me know that you like my channel, my videos, and it helps you keep up to date more easily with my latest content from The Sims, Sonic the Hedgehog, and more. So I will talk to you all later and have a great day. Thanks for watching. And hopefully one day I will get out of this simulation, though then again, aren't we all living in one already?